Aerobeat 800 milligrams, plus Atasanavir 400 milligrams in NCPs applications. With the large number of antiretroviral drugs available, the goal of antiretroviral therapy is moving not only to attain complete viral suppression, but also to provide patients a more convenient regimen with less toxicity and easy to adhere to. In this regard, the growing interest in the combination of atazanib with plus drug therapy has raised. Atazanavir is a protease inhibitor which has demonstrated antiretroviral efficacy in different patients and different populations of patients. And uh, conversely to other protease inhibitors, it can be given once daily with or without low doses of return. And thus permitting us to avoid the return of reviews in those patients who are historically intolerant to this drug or who have eating disorders. On the other hand, Valtherapy is the first integrase inhibitor which has been licensed for its clinical use. It has been it has demonstrated to be really potent and with the safety profile comparable to placebo with a neutral impact on lipid profile and with the potential uh, and with the limited potential to cause lipoid history. So based on this data on possible pharmacokinetic interactions between these two agents, a growing interest of this combination has emerged. At the same time, as you know, is metabolized by the C2A4 isochrome cytochrome T450, while that therapy is metabolized by glucuronidation by the ODD1 and 1 enzyme. While drug therapy is not an inducer, not an inhibitor of the C3A4, atazanavir inhibits the activity of the UGT, UGT1 and 1, and thus boosting drug therapy exposure. This table summarizes data from healthy volunteers in studies in which drug therapy and atazanavir either boosted or unboosted were combined. And as you can observe, there was a mild increase in Rattero, Sima, AUC, and Sima with these two drugs were combined. So, based on, on this, our objective was to explore the safety and the pharmacokinetics of Rattero 800 milligrams, given with the 400 milligrams, both agents once daily, in a group of HCV infected patients. We performed a pilot for the label study, including HCV infected patients on stable antiretroviral therapy containing. <coughs> At sun with 400 milligrams once daily, who had undetectable viral load and who were not being treated with any other drug with non drug drug interactions with either at or Rapid. As I said, patients have to be on stable and uh, therapy with a boosted at sun for two weeks, and at day zero, right there, 800 milligrams for a viral regimen. Both drugs were given in the morning with the light. We obtained a full weekly profile from each participant and uh, samples were obtained from 0 to 24 hours after drug intake on day 10. And right there, the concentrations in plasma were measured by HPLC with the fluorescence detector. Right there, the pharmacokinetic parameters were calculated by non compartmental analysis using Winamine software and were compared with data from historical control from 20 healthy volunteers we co-participated in another study in which the influence of food on Rattegravir pharmacokinetics was assessed. And these subjects received a single dose of Rattegravir 400 milligrams with a high fat meal or under fasting. We enrolled 15 patients in this study. They were, they were mostly male. Median age was 47 years and median body mass index was 24 kilograms per square meter. There was no serious adverse event uh, and no patient discontinued the study medication during the follow up. <coughs> this graph shows individual particular concentrations. The, line, the red line represents the smooth of the data, and the particular is 95 represented by the horizontal line. Particular was practically absorbed, TMAX was about 3 hours, CMAX was 5.4. 5.4 micromolar and drug concentration was 69 nanomolar. Of note, 4 out of the 15 patients had radiography concentrations which were below the 33 nanomolar, uh, which is the ILIC95. When we compare our data with those with healthy volunteers receiving a single dose of radiography with high meal, we observe a significant increase in radiography synapse 
which was increased by approximately three fold, and a decrease of about 85% in radiative drug concentration. However, radiative A and the group remain comparable to that from observing healthy subjects. If we look to the radiative prescribing information, it's stated that radiative can be administered without regard to food. So we also compare our data uh, with those from the healthy volunteer study under fasting. And as you can see in this case, we observe a trend towards higher radiative stimulants, AUC, and CISO, although these differences didn't reach statistical significance. So to conclude, in, in our experience, one day the radiative 800 milligrams plus approximately 400 milligrams were well tolerated and resulted in higher radiative stimulants, lower CISO, and similar area under the curve when compared to heavy control receiving a single dose of radiography with high of meal, but comparable pharmacokinetics of radiography when compared to control receiving a single dose of radiography and fasting. So, in line with what uh, it has been commented here this morning, radiography is a pharmacokinetic parameter of radiography is more protective to its individual viral efficacy in this area under the curve and not so. Uh, the status is in the, the clinical usefulness of this treatment regime and Thank you.